What up? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And look at you. You done stumbled upon little OTB Saints, where we bring you all the latest black and gold coverage. Who are the Saints going to draft? Who's going to be their quarterback? What does the salary cap look like? All that information and more. Hope you enjoy it. Like, subscribe. In New Orleans Saints news, former All-Pro Denver Broncos safety Justin Simmons is visiting uh, the New Orleans Saints. Now, interestingly, there's a lot of connective tissue here. Justin Simmons played with the Broncos for eight seasons. In the eight years, he had 30 picks. He led the league in 22 with six picks. He has 64 passes, defense, four and a half sacks, 600 tackles over that time. Uh, Justin Simmons was coached by current Saints defensive coordinator Joe Woods, when he was drafted in 2016, Joe Woods was the DB coach for the Broncos. Uh, that was for two years. Then he played for Marcus Robertson, who was the Broncos D line or D, DB coach. Where's Marcus Robertson now? He is the Saints' current defensive backs coach. So not one, but two of his former uh, DB coaches here on staff in New Orleans. Um, he's probably the biggest free agent name left out there. Right now, you got Tyron Matthews starting alongside Jordan Howden. You would feel like Justin Simmons and Tyron Matthews would be a much more intriguing combination. It makes you better immediately, potentially. Uh, and because this is Dennis Allen's kind of have to go for a year, I mean, surely he's advocating for this move. I guess it's can you make it work financially? I, I can't help but feel, though, J uh, Jake, make sure, help me out. I'm not getting Jairus Birded again, am I? <laughs> Because <laughs> like that kind of scarred me. I do like how you use that as a verb. No, I I hate to besmirch NFL players because if you make it to that level, you are really, really good. But I never understood because I played against Bird when he was with the Bills. And when that contract happened, I was shocked. I was shocked that somebody gave him the mm. amount of money that they did. Which outside looking in was not shocking because he had stupid stats and S was like, stats. And yeah, yeah, and was like all pro and everything. Yes, uh, but sometimes that happens. Uh, just playing against him a, a, a couple of different times, I was surprised that they gave him that deal. Justin Simmons to me is a better player than Bird was. Um, last year was certainly not his best year, but he wasn't. It wasn't awful by any means. I mean, he graded out, uh, I think, somewhere in the low 70s. And so there was, you know, still a player that has, I think, a couple of years left at, at high level. Um, going back to 2022, he was really good. So it hasn't been a drop off of like two or three seasons. I think it was just last year he did take a step back. Yeah. There's a lot of players in the Broncos that kind of took a step back. Yeah, because Sean ago. Payton sucks. Take that, nerd. Um, so I still think Justin Simmons can be a very good player in the NFL. Do you want to sign him potentially? Maybe Jordan Howden is not quite ready to be the full-time starter at safety. Yeah. Maybe you want to get another veteran player in there to kind of have a rotation of safeties. I don't know. I mean, Tyron played well last year. But if it's a player that you can add this late in the camp and on the cheap because maybe Justin Simmons is like, man, I thought I was going to get this. I haven't been offered that, but I'll go there, okay? I'll take a smaller deal. Maybe my playing time there will be better than it will somewhere else. And so for him, he doesn't have a lot of leverage. And for mm -hmm. the Saints, it's kind of a no-risk type situation if you feel like you need to pair him with Jordan Houghton. Um, I, 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 yeah, I, I think that's all very well said and broken down in terms of the dynamics at play and Simmons' leverage. And He played 996 snaps last year. Yeah, I look. I think uh, I think this is a classic situation where it's very easy to sit on this side and just say, "Hell yeah, do it!" Right? I don't know what Simmons is asking for. Um, I don't know how the Saints feel they can make it work with their cap. Remember, the Saints are kind of in a reset period cap wise, where they're trying to maybe avoid some of the tactics that got them here in the first place, where they continuously kick the can down the road to win in the yeah. short term. Unfortunately, the short term hasn't worked out recently, so it kind of felt like they were finally hitting reset this year. You put that at risk if you sign Simmons to a big deal. I'm not sure. I do know this, though. Uh, I think we can unequivocally say that it makes you a better team. Would you all agree with that? Yeah, I don't think it, it certainly doesn't make you a worse team. And, and I'll say this about him. Last year, I, I believe he was dealing with some injuries, yeah. but played through those, as I mentioned, almost 1,000 snaps. And he graded out for him. His highest graded weeks were week 10, 11, 15, 16, and 17. 
So you okay. saw him get healthy. Yep. You saw him get back to the player that he could be. So at the end of the season, I mean, he graded out as a total grade, 85, 76, 75 in the final three games of the season. So what you're telling me is he mirrors Derek Carr in the final six games for this New Orleans Saints offense. I'm glad you brought that up, Jake. It's a very salient point, right? Ending last season with a little bit of momentum behind you and how you can launch that forward into a new season of My success. Bad, guys. I had not considered that. Put in the Carfax, guys. Put in the Carfax. Jake just confirmed that a positive end of the year can launch you into next season. So Saints fans, like, well, well, as always, like, you know, you'll you'll hear the news on 104.5 ESPN if it becomes official, but kind of sit around with your fingers crossed today. I wonder, is this a case where if he gets out of town, he's not signing? Or because he's waited so long, could he still sign even if he leaves, do you think? Probably would do it in the building. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'd be surprised. So they already have an offer made up and everything then by this point in the process. They got an, they have an idea. Okay. If you bring a vet in like this, it's not like you're bringing in, you know, a second-year player. You're not Does he do a tryout? Some, ooh, some teams still make you do it. Okay, yeah, that's what I was wondering. Now, I mean, it's a lot of money, I'm sure. It's so weird. It is so weird to go on these free agent visits. I remember going, I'm, I'm going into year, I think maybe year six. I don't know, maybe it was five. And I go to Tampa Bay, and I go for a free agent visit, and I think it was me and Carl Nix. And Beast. Yeah, I mean, he was. He made multiple Pro Bowls, and they were like, he had to work out. Yeah, and, and then I'm they like, ruined his career with staph infection in their dirty locker rooms. Yeah, and I'm sitting there like, hold on, like, I, like you got five years of NFL tape, and you want me to run the 40? Yeah. What are we doing here? The 40's pretty dumb. I, like, I could see drills, but the 40's pretty but stupid. Like, even drills, like, there's a, I played in the preseason two weeks ago. Like, do you need to see me go through these cones? I don't really understand this. And look, my guy, Mark Dominic, who I'm a friend with now, was a GM at the time. I clown him all the time for it. I'm like, Mark, what were y'all doing? He's like, oh, we just did it the same for everybody. I'm like, Mark, you a hoe. It's stupid, Mark. Um, I mean, the Lions put me through, again, same year, five years of NFL tape. The Lions put me and, gosh, Rock. Cartwright. I don't know if you remember that name. He played for Kansas State. He's a special teamer. Played a long. I mean, Washington yeah, played for Washington for a little, for a little bit. Is the brother of Stone nope, Buggy stop, Wrong? Stop, stop. You tried Stone that whole time. Stone Buggy Wrong. You tried guys. that whole time. That's funny. No, it's not. They put me through the ringer. Lodge's well, laughing. You, bro. you know, yeah, well, you, know what they, you know what both those franchises have in common, Jake? They were really bad at the time. Yeah, they were. Yeah, so you know what? We're Bush Denver. League, Bush League moves. Denver, there was no, like, really cone drills. It was like, Peyton, hey, do you know the protection? All right, sign him. Yeah, yeah. So it was different, but, yeah, 40-yard dash. Come on, dude. I'm 30. I've been in this thing for a minute. You're going to be disappointed by the time, too. <laughs> yeah, like, what are we doing, dude? <laughs> like, I'm not running a 40 out here. It ain't going to be what you saw in Indy back five, six years ago. Wow, just amazing black and gold takes right there, Jake. I don't think I've ever heard any takes that are better than the two guys that just gave you that take. And you can keep getting them. By going ahead and liking, subscribing, ringing the bell to get notifications when we post. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next OTB Say.